This blog will introduce you to wire schematics in solid edge wiring and harness design. Welcome to part one of our blog series on the solid edge wiring and harness design package. In part one, we will introduce you to wiring schematics. Keep in mind that this is a brief introduction and in no way covers all the capabilities in the wiring package of solid edge wiring and harness design. This software makes full electrical schematic development easy via an intuitive user interface, electrically intelligent symbols, and automated part selection. Its built-in intelligence automates many design tasks. It also has built-in verification and design rule checks to validate design, eliminating errors early in the flow. This will be shown in part four of this blog series. Real savings exists when using this package. For one, you can stop paying subscription on your 2D CAD package, which will not integrate with your 3D models. Plus, you'll save time and money with streamlined electrical work and seamless data exchange with solid edge to connected mode, shown in part three of this blog series. Let's have a look at how easy it is to make a wire schematic. We start this demo by creating a new wiring design project to which we can assign a name. We then assign a name to the design and a short description if so desired. The system launches a design window for us in which we can add a border. You can use the delivered default borders, or you can create your own custom borders. Next, I start placing symbols from my devices. Symbols can be standalone symbols, or they can be associated with a physical part. I simply drag and drop to place my first symbol for my audio system. I continue placing symbols, and by using some hotkeys, I can accelerate the process. I can use the shift key when I select the speaker symbol to place it. This keeps me in the placement mode so I can easily and quickly place multiple occurrences of the same symbol. The grid background helps me align them. Next, I will create a plug for the audio unit using the plug command. I'll also create a plug over the first speaker. I can continue to create plugs or I can use the copy and paste command to position multiple occurrences of the plugs. You can use the shortcut menu or the Control C and Control V hotkeys to copy and paste multiple plugs for the audio unit and speakers. Notice how the plug pins automatically match the component pins. If necessary, you can easily reposition components once they are placed. Creating and placing wires is fast and easy using the multi-wire placement command. Notice how rapidly I create and place all the wires between the speaker and the audio unit. I'll now create another plug on the other side of the audio unit. And again, notice how the pins automatically extend to the wall of the plug. Let's add a few more devices. I'll place a couple of fuses on the diagram. And again, I'm using the grid to align these symbols.
I'll also place an ignition switch symbol. Then I'll add some more wires. In this case, I'm placing the wires one at a time. If I hit the shift key before selecting the wire command, it keeps me in the placement mode so I don't have to keep going back and selecting the wire command. I also have the automatic wire path routing turned on, so you'll notice it automatically puts the step in for me. I'll add some more wires with the automatic wire routing turned on. Notice that the system will also automatically place splices for me. Let's add one more symbol. I will grab and place the chassis ground symbol and quickly place a wire from the ground pin to the chassis symbol. Notice that within a few short minutes, I've created this wire diagram that I can share with the rest of my team. This concludes part one of this blog series. If you want to learn more about solid edge wiring and harness design, contact your account manager or visit us at designfusion.com. You can also call our head office toll free at 1-888-567-3933.